that the church put a restriction that Christians should marry only one. It is later on Rabbi Ben Shemgen Yehuda passed a sign on and said that Jews should marry only one. Otherwise, previously they used to marry as many as they wished. It is the Indian penal code in India. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lee. And we are Fanny Jesse. Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. Before getting to the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You're the realest time PP, and uh, we have a new channel which is called Jesse, which is called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Just feel free to just go and subscribe. We're gonna put the link into the comment section below, and we really appreciate if you just go and subscribe to that new channel anyway guys um yeah so right about now we're going to do another reaction and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people as usual and they say that we should go react to why is polygamy allowed in islam yeah this is by dr zakir naik so without any further ado guys let's get it my name is joseph i have two questions to ask why all the muslims men are allowed to marry for four women and the second one is how can you prove that Jesus was not crucified? So there are two questions. Are you a Christian? I am. So there are two questions. That why does Islam permit a man to have up to four wives? Why does Islam permit a man to have more than one wife? And second question, how can you prove that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified? The Quran is the only religious book on the face of the earth which says marry only one. You read the Bible, you read the Rama, you read the Mahabharata, you read the Veda. No religious book on the face of the earth says marry only one besides the Quran. If you read Ramayan, the Hindu scriptures, the father of Sri Ram, he had more than one wife. If you read Mahabharata, Sri Krishna, how many wives he had? Four, ten, thousand, ten thousand. He had sixteen thousand one hundred eight wives. So if Sri Krishna can have sixteen thousand one hundred eight wives, so why can Muslims have maximum up to four? If you read the Old Testament, it says yeah. that Solomon, peace be upon him, had 700 wives. Abraham, peace be upon him, had three wives. So Old Testament tells you can marry so, as many wives as you want. Same as the New Testament says that you should follow Old Testament. So in Hinduism, in Christianity, in Judaism, you can marry as many as you want. It is later on that the church put a restriction that Christians should marry only one. It is later on Rabbi Ben Shemgen Yehuda passed a sign on and say that Jews should marry only one. Otherwise, previously, they used to marry as many as they wished. It is the Indian penal code in India in 1954 that put a restriction and said under the Hindu Special Marriage Act, the Hindus should marry only one. But the scriptures put no restrictions. Let's analyze what does the Quran say. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse number 3, marry women of a choice in twos, threes or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. This statement, if you can't do justice, marry only one, is only given in the Quran and no other religious scriptures. Let us analyze why does Quran give permission for the Muslim men to marry more than one woman, maximum four. The reason is that by nature, male and female are born in equal proportion. But if you ask any pediatrician, he will tell you, the doctor of the children, that the female child is stronger than the male child in fighting germs and diseases. So you have more deaths among the male children as compared to female children. So in pediatrics mm -hmm. itself, the females are more than the males. As life mm -hmm. goes on, there is death due to wars, due to alcoholism, due to drug addiction, due to accident. In all these cases, more men are dying as compared to females. So today in the world, there are more females as compared to males. In few countries, like India and China, the female population is less than the male population because of female feticide and female infanticide. In India, according to a BBC report, every day more than a thousand fetuses are being aborted after they are identified as females. If you multiply this figure by 365, you get a total of more than a million fetuses are being aborted every year in India after they identified that they are females. According to the Tamil Nadu government hospital report, out of 10 females born alive, 4 are put to death. 
if you stop this uh. evil practice of female feticide wow. and female infanticide in India, even in India, uh. the female population will become more than the male population. Even in China, if you stop this evil practice, the female population will become more than the male population. Today, if you analyze, in USA alone, there are 4.7 million females more than males. In UK alone, there are 1.2 million females more than males. In Germany alone, there are 1.6 million females more than males. In Russia alone, there are 10.6 million females more than males. And God alone knows that how many females are more than males throughout the world. If I agree with you that one man should only marry one woman, and suppose your sister happens to live in America, or suppose my sister happens to live in USA, and the market is saturated, every man has found a wife for himself, yet there will be 4.7 million females who will not find life partner. And if your sister happens to be one of them, or if my sister happens to be one of the 4.7 million females who have not found a life partner for themselves, the only option for them is that she either marries a man who already has a wife, or becomes public property. Public property, such a harsh word. It is the most sophisticated word I can use. I cannot use a better word. You know, in America, today the statistics tell us, on average, a man has eight different sexual partners before he settles down with one. Having mistresses in USA is very common. Five, 10, 20, 30, no problem. Having more than one legal wife, it doesn't go down their throat. When a woman is a mistress, she doesn't get a right. She's dishonored. She is not treated well. In Islam, when a woman becomes the second wife, she gets the honor, she gets a right, she's treated well. Any modest woman, if you ask her, that would you prefer being a second wife of a man who's already married or become public property, they will opt for the first. So Islam has given permission for some men to have more than one wife to protect the modesty of the woman. Coming to your second question. Is it allowed for ladies to marry for men? Brother, you're asking counter question, the time is limited. You ask two questions, now you're asking a third question. Are you convinced with the first answer? I'm convinced with the first one. Mashallah, so you're convinced, okay. The brother asked that, is a woman allowed to have more than one husband? If you do that, this problem will be exaggerated I mean, more. I mean Muslims, in, in Muslims. As it is, women are more than men. If women marry more than one husband, the problem will be exaggerated. Point number one. Point number two, if a man has more than one wife and if the child is born, you can easily identify who is the father, who is the mother. If a woman has more than one husband and the child is born... DNA is still alive. Brother, let me finish the answer, na? Was I interrupting? Yes or no? No. No, so why are you interrupting? After I finish, you can ask, no? I am a medical doctor. Are you a medical doctor? No. I am a medical doctor. No more DNA testing. I will come to it. Once, if a woman has more than one husband, two husbands, and if a child is born, and if he goes to admit in the school, and if the question, who is your father, she will have to give two names. You are talking about DNA testing. I know about it. DNA testing is recent. Was DNA testing there 50 years back? Was it there? No. It's a new recent discovery, yet it's not 100%. Even if I agree it's 100%, it is now, it wasn't there before. Islam is there since time immemorial. And this is not the only reason. Even if I agree tomorrow it becomes 100% perfect, this is not the only reason. Today science tells us that man is more polygamous in nature as compared to the female. Today science tells us that during menstrual cycle, the female undergoes certain psychological changes. It's not possible for her to do the role of multiple wives. But a man doesn't undergo these changes, it's possible for him to do a role of multiple husbands. Today science tells us that if a man has multiple sexual partners and all are faithful, there is no problem. But if a female has multiple sexual partners and all are faithful, there are chances of sexually transmitted diseases to emerge. And that disease will go back to the male partner. So medically, it is not acceptable that a female has multiple partners,
but medically and scientifically, it's acceptable that a male can have multiple partners. Wow. You seem to have been enjoying this. What do you think? <coughs> no, no, no. No, what do you think? I really <laughs> want to know your views. No, I like that. The whole time I was smiling and laughing was, I mean, the point where he says that um, when a woman, uh, let's say, marries like more than what four men, so when the kid comes out, <laughs> which name or which? I mean, it's it's really. If you sit down and think about it, it's just so uh, it's so hard to comprehend. Anyway. But this topic here is really sensitive, very, very sensitive. According to Islam, you can marry uh, four wives, which is okay for them. But, but the chapter says you can marry in twos, fours, mm -hmm. something, something. Yeah. But if you can't do justice, marry yeah. one. You have, if you want to marry four or five, you have to put justice in them. Like you have to treat them equally and whatnot. But I don't know if that's even, um, is it is it even possible to treat them equally? Or what does justice mean? Does it mean co equal co uh, equal uh, rights or just? Um, it's possible if you're buying this one, it's here you cup. This one, you buy the other one, it's here you cup as well. Anyway, but uh, I think different come with different uh, needs probably. Maybe a need. I don't want the same cup, I want a different cup. Oh, anyway. And the entire time I was seated thinking, you know, what if you have a male child? One woman has a male child, the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. Don't you think more attention will be drawn to this other family? Yeah, probably. That's why it mentioned justice. If you're able to put justice in between. No, justice could, could also mean if you're not able to keep that woman. Yeah, I mean, it don't comes with a lot of factors. There's a lot of factors in, in between that, whatever just that he mentioned. It might justice be financial wise, it might be. Justice uh, doesn't mean. Um, it might be comfort wise, it might be uh, sexual wise, it might be all these type of things. You understand? Yeah. And then another thing that really shocked me is that. Um, okay, I knew that women are not. There are many that are, they, they are like so, so much compared to, to men. But something really shocked me was the, the yeah. amount of death, the reason why there's yes. more women. Yes, the reason why there's more women. I didn't know that. I mean, this is something to just learn. I, I really, really didn't know that we actually, I mean, women are, are, are prone to survive compared to, to what, to men. I mean, yeah, that's really... But either way, even if that's the case, that's why I like the example he gave. He spoke about India. Mm -hmm. They still kill their children. Yeah, but why? Why? They throw abortions, or you wait until you give birth and actually bury it alive. What I've if? What if? What if? Documentary on that. What if someone goes through a like goes throughout just giving back to to a female, 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 and no. If you don't want the female, you bury the child, kill oh the child. God. I feel so sad about that situation, but now what? What? Okay, now let's go into the scripture. According to the, to Islam, they, they talk about marrying four. According to the Bible, they say that uh, we should marry. It doesn't say anything. No, they. He no, gave examples says, of saying, okay, Jesse in the Bible ah, had no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 500 wives. It, yeah, he it said say it's it. the church that decided. Yes, it's the church that decided that they should marry one. And he proceeded to mention even the people in the Bible who had more wives. You get it? And Other also, than the church, <coughs> can you check? Other than the church, he made mention of China as well. Mm -hmm. China is a government mm -hmm. that's limiting people and how many children you can have. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the population, so what can you say about that? The population of China, there are a lot of women, yeah? Everywhere you go, I guess there's a lot yeah. of women. I don't know. I mean, it's... I don't... I'm not into killing people, but if there is need to do that to control the population, I don't know. But again, that's bad. That's bad. Let people live. Let people live. Uh, the only person who the, the only person who understands the nature is God. I mean, but we shouldn't just be doing that. If it's possible for I don't know. Uh, just you me. Know, if what are your thoughts on the entire topic? My thoughts are. 
my thoughts are like what do you think about polygamy is it it's a very sensitive thing oh but to me i wouldn't want to marry thoughts, okay I mean, my beliefs is that i wouldn't want to marry more than four wives okay if i have one wife who is ready to to uh to be with me and be able to share my life and understand who i am and understand my needs and everything it's fine you get it you don't have to to marry another wife but um, this is me now I'm, I'm thinking about the aspect of was this introduced into the churches or into the modern society to control the world anyway guys just let us know what you think about this topic over here do you uh, accept the polygamy um whatever thing do you feel like polygamy will is, is a is a is a good act okay according to islam it's mentioned in there but according to probably other religions or maybe the churches they 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 prefer having one wife which is not bad that's according to their own belief just let us know in the comment section what do you think about this topic right here do you think that uh marrying one person was introduced uh, because of the population control or do you think that or rather why do you think marrying one wife was introduced yeah to make it more general exactly and also uh wh what do you think do you think women should also uh marry like four men would you just let us know in the comment section below we like to hear from you guys and we'll also find time to read and respond to you people and anyway guys, if you feel like you reacted to this video, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel. And the most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, the more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video and peace out.